What is going on guys? This is Simon from SG and today we're going to look at how to set up the follow-ups email extension in WooCommerce. So if you use like WooCommerce subscriptions, WooCommerce bookings, um, you know, events calendar, really just anything where you'd want to send a follow-up email in WooCommerce, let's take a look at this plugin because I think it's going to be really beneficial for you to use in your store. Um, I can already hear like the comment section saying, oh yeah, you can just, you know, create your own email template um, as like a custom template in WooCommerce. But, um, you know, I think it's more beneficial, more worth your time just to buy an extension to do it, you know, 20 times over rather than make a custom one, then maybe an action doesn't fire. Um, anyways, so let's get into it. Um, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and um, let's jump into it. So I, um, I like got this plugin, the follow-ups plugin, and the first step would be for you to, to purchase it and then download it and you'll get a zip file. And then the next step is if I go to my WooCommerce dashboard and I'm just going to upload this plugin and I'm going to activate it. Sweet. Update it install it awesome I'm gonna activate it cool cool so um, they have like this option right away like to scan orders um, you can do that if you would like I usually just come right to the follow-up and just click you know emails and I do not have a new like any follow-ups created because I just got this plugin, obviously. So I am going to um, I'm just gonna say don't show this again. And I'm just gonna create a new follow-up. And I have subscriptions, and I want to let like the first example I want to do is I want to let customers know five days before their subscription renews that their sub subscription will be renewing because um, I just think it's important to let them know like hey you have an up upcoming payment due for X amount you know, make changes to your um, order, update your payment method here, more or less just, just notifying them so their payment doesn't fail. So um, I'm just gonna say like test, follow up, subscription, renewal. Um, your payment date is coming up. <laughs> I don't know if that'd be the actual subscription. Um, okay, so I'm gonna be like, hey, and I'm just going to put X right here because I'm going to fill in these with email variables that they um, that follow-ups provides in a second. Um, your payment of X is coming up in X days. Um, um, thanks, SG Web, for example. Um, So if I wanted to say like the customer's first name, I can go to um, the variables. So I'm just gonna jump back over here and I'm actually gonna drag this down so we can do like a dual screen and I'm gonna view the docs. So bear with me for a second. Okay, and I'm just gonna find variables. Okay, so we have variables and I wanna say customer first name so like, hey, customer first name, your payment of X is coming up in X days. So because it's a subscription, um, I can go to subscriptions and um, I should say this, your payment of this is coming up on, and I'm just going to put this. And then the payment, like the subscription payment, is so I'm gonna do um, subscription cost. So your so, hi, let's just say his name is Mike. Hi Mike, your payment of $100 is coming up on, you know, April 1st, 2020, or 2021, because this video is gonna be big in 2021 as well. Um, and then thanks. And um, I'm gonna save this. And I'm just gonna say subscription email. Cool, let me just save this. 
So if I would have just saved this right away, obviously I could have seen these variables um, right away. But um, anyways, so I have this test email, right? And I needed like, when do I want this to trigger? I want this to trigger, you know, five days before their upcoming subscription renewal date. So I'm going to go to um, five days and I'm going to say before next subscription payment and um, I'm going to enable for all subscription products and I'm going to click save. Okay. And so they also have like other things I could do. So I could like add, um, you know, like coupons I could add. They're going to like use their default WooCommerce like settings that you define like in WooCommerce um, settings, then emails. I could also add like UTM parameters if I wanted to, but let's just keep things simple and let's like send out our first test. So let me just make sure to save this again. And I'm going to come down here to um, email address and I'm just going to send this to myself and I am going to grab a sample subscription. So let's do uh, 3289. So I'm going to send this email sent. And I also can preview this in my browser too. Like, hey, whatever, your payment of this is coming up on this date. And if you're wondering how to get your logo, um, they're just defaulting to the WooCommerce email settings. I stated here. So I have this logo here and those colors there. So cool. So I sent that test, even though you guys can preview it right here, but I sent that test and I can come to my email and you will notice that, um, I just got a test for sample customer Kimberly that my payment of X amount, the subscription renewal payment amount is upcoming on March 1st, 2020. And she will get this five days before her upcoming payment. Um, now I might make this more formal, like your payment of this is coming up on this date. And I could even say something like, if I come down here, um, you know, view your subscription ID at, and I could go to um, store URL at store URL equals path. So I could do like uh, my account slash view order. Um, and let me just save this and let me just get an example real quick. So I could go to, um, if I go to a sample user and let's say I switch this user and I look at my account, it would be under subscriptions and like right here. So let's say I want to do this. I'm going to go back. I'm going to switch back to the admin because I'm using the user switching plugin. And all these plugins, guys, can be found in the description box below. So if I'm moving too quickly, just leave a comment or anything like that. Cool. So I'm going to come back to this follow-up. And this is the URL. And I want to put right here my account and then the subscription ID, right? And I'm going to save this uh, email and then let me send another test. And I think this was and was this eighteen two five? Yeah, I'll just send another test. Okay, another test was sent. So sweet. View your subscription. Maybe I should say view your subscription ID but this is the subscription ID. So view your subscription at here. And then I'm linking for them. The customer usually 
to like click and they can view their subscription. You can even say like, hey, you can update your payment method. Um, so anyways, that is just an example of how you can use um, follow-ups with WooCommerce. I'd really recommend it. You can get, you do tons of stuff if you, um, you know, want to with it. You can do, you know, like follow-ups for, you know, like order status changes. So like, you know, after someone purchased something, maybe you can want to ask them to, you know, leave a review. Hi, you know, customer, first name, whatever. Um, you can list out the item names that they ordered, you know. And um, there's just so much stuff you can do with like the variables they define. If you're on like WooCommerce subscriptions, you can add like coupons, you can use like WooCommerce bookings, events calendar, so much stuff you can do um, with this plugin. And I think just overall, it's easier than um, thinking that, hey, I'm going to spend a couple hours and try to, you know, customize a WooCommerce email template and like modify it and get it loaded up in the WooCommerce backend. And next thing you know, something's not firing and then your email doesn't get sent and then maybe your customer doesn't leave a review or they don't know when their payment's coming up and more or less just easier to use a plugin sometimes and put your pride aside. So with that said, um, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, once again, all the links can be found in the description box below and subscribe if you want to and yeah leave a comment on what video you want to see next awesome thanks again guys have a great rest of your day peace